Okay, hi guys, and welcome to a special anniversary episode because, of course, it's been seven years since I started the channel. Unbelievable. Yeah, it was May 15th, 2014. I posted my very first video. It was absolutely cringeworthy, awkward. I was so serious. I didn't know what I was doing with the camera. I still don't know. <laughs> no, I'm learning. We're always learning. That's what it's all about, right? Uh, so yeah, can you believe it? So today I thought to commemorate that, I'd put a little compilation of some of your favorite, your most liked uh, and enjoyed intros. And of course I can't put all of them because then we'd be here for about two, <laughs> two hours, but just some of the highlights, I think. Now, before we get into all of that, very quick wristwatch check. I'm wearing the Explorer, my my second favorite watch now, on the Melange Perlon from Wrist County Watch Club. And I picked this very deliberately because it's also on my t-shirt. Check this out. You can't probably hear me. It's been in the store a few months. There's some Hugo tees, there's all kinds of uh, hoodies, uh, mugs, as you can see there, all kinds of good stuff. And as we speak, I'm um, designing and adding some new items, um, so do check them out. Uh, the links will be in pretty much all the new videos. Also, there is the Unico case, which will be in the last EDC, in case you missed it, I'll put a card here and at the end. Uh, basically, I searched the market for a, a singular watch case. Everything I found was either too clunky and not robust enough or not high quality enough. I wanted something that would last the test of time, last generations, and yet be stylish, the right size, comfortable. So, you know, I had to make it myself. Well, I didn't make it, but I reached out to Carl Friedrich and they really loved the idea. So we collaborated on that. So do go and check out the EDC video. What else? A little bit of news. Uh, and this is fortuitous timing considering the anniversary. I got mentioned on Alpha M's channel and a lot of you may not know, but I really um, got a lot of help from him in the early days of the channel. He really taught me so many things, um, how to, um, to present myself, how to have more confidence, how to um, become more regimented, um, disciplined in terms of not only YouTube, but just in life. I mean, he still is a deeply, deeply motivational and uh, ins inspirational person. I mean, check out what he said. In the space of watches and fragrances, that two, those two areas have a lot of pompous a-holes, honestly, in my opinion. Um, and these people, it's not that they don't know a lot. It's not that they don't, aren't experts in their specific areas but I wouldn't want to hang out with them. I wouldn't want to be friends with them. And so I don't want to watch them on YouTube. You know, in terms of watch guys that I love, TGV, Tristano, I think is a rock star. He is just a really great guy. Um, I've had conversations with him. He's just a solid dude that really gets into watches and he loves it and he knows more than like anybody, but he's not like that arrogant about it. And that's one of the things that I love about him. È un po' come un grande fratello per me. You know, he's, he's, he's like a mentor, you could say. Um, so I'm always indebted. Thank you, Aaron. Thank you so much. Another little thing I want to mention is about a year ago, I made the announcement that I was only going to do YouTube part-time. And I think it's really worked out. It's maintained the channel's independence. I want this to be fun, not only for me, but for you guys. Uh, it's always been um, better when it's from the perspective of an enthusiast. I'm sharing my journey and what I'm learning with you. And I think that's crucial because look, what are the choices? You become a watch dealer, right? And then any authenticity goes out the window. Um, the reviews have to be unbiased and they have to be from the perspective of an enthusiast because you can review watches. You can be a watch dealer. You cannot do both. I've talked about this numerous, numerous times. Um, so I, I think it's, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with the way things are going. So without further ado, before I waffle on, rabbit on too much, uh, let's roll some of your favorite intros. And guys, if you want to support the channel, uh, the best way is to always like the videos, comment. I think comments uh, is what I love the most. It's the most rewarding for me. I love hearing your feedback, your thoughts, your opinions. With that said, onwards and upwards, here's to another year. Uh, I hope to see you all soon in the next one. Uh, let's roll some intros.
name's bound Batty. Hugo, my Batty. Ah, my darling Mr. Bond. You puny humans, you've been here five minutes and you think you've run things. You'll see. World domination. Same old dream. You wanted me. Here I am. What ho, Batman. I've heard TGV's got a new video on your good friend, the esteemed Nolan. And why do you want to kill me? It's not my fault. Humans make such delicious hors d'oeuvre. Okay, chaps, we're here for the briefcase. It's in the cupboard. Vincent, darling, are we happy? Hello, Vincent. Vincent. We happy. I heard you're a bit of a watch snob. What? what? You said something disparaging about Seiko. You said you wouldn't be caught dead in one. Hello, ho TGV, it's moi, Hugo here. I was just wondering if you've given any more thought to helping me with that bail, old chap. Can't you sell a few of your bloody watches? Accidentally ate a few of my fellow inmates, unfortunately. Ha 
Hello? 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 Such a nightmare, I thought you were an Apple Watch. <sighs> I want him found. Not tomorrow, not after breakfast, now. Yes, sir. Hi, hi, uh, how are you? I'm splendid, thank you. Uh, where the hell are you? I'm on a luxury cruise, darling. I thought you were locked up. Well, I was. But you know how much I adore the outdoors. Feeling the sun on my skin. Chasing those lovely little goats. I simply had to get out. Wait, hello? Hugo? 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 Pesky TGV won't have me on his YouTube channel again. What is that? Oh, Don C. It's the new TV. I hear he's having that mark of Long Island Watch on his channel again. It should be me. All right, come up, though. Oh, Donny, darling. Please, I beg of you. No need for the pomp and circumstance. The Death Star will be completed on the schedule. Oh, Vady, baby. How frightfully splendid. Finally, we can get rid of all those ghastly fake watches in one fell swoop. <coughs> Here's Hugo. Hello, Hugo. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, you need to turn your mic on and step away from the camera. You're too close. Can you hear me? Oh, look. I'm a bunny rabbit. Uh, what's going on?
I talked to you. <clears throat> but we got a problem. Well, Tony, darling, I need another favor. And um, in return, I think I can help you. Okay, what am I going to do? You see, our old friend, TGV, refuses to have more on his show. Allegedly, I don't work hard enough to encourage his lovely audience to click like on his videos. You need to persuade him to feature me more. I can't do it myself. That uncouth rotter is my distant cousin after all. That's a problem, I didn't know. In return, I can stash some of that money you have at my villa at Isle Nubla for half the fee your Florida bank charges. Come on, talk to me. I go low, you go high. Look, I know the game, man. This is business talk, come on. I'll charge um, 8% for every $10. It's a good deal. F*** you, I fly to cash myself to the Bahamas. Come on, yeah. Alternatively, I could just take care of those pesky rivals of yours. You hear that guy? You gotta listen to him, you can learn something. Drops away! Heaven, here I come. A watch snob once tried to argue with me. I ate his forearms with some kidney beans and a nice Chianti. Now fly back to Quantico, my petite pterodactyl. Fly, fly, fly. Fly, fly. So you want to tussle with the big chaps, eh? Say tally-ho to my little friend. It's Hugo Mountbatten, you know, the superstar actor from Jurassic Park. I don't think so. Well, listen, the reason I'm calling is TGV has a new video up. Well, I'm getting ready to watch a video. About wristwatches? Oh, just some scary movie. Sounds dreadful. You really should check out The Urban Gentry and like his new video. We could share the popcorn. There's enough too. What did you say? New card. What do you think? Picked them up from the printers yesterday. Now that's a lovely color. What is it? That's bone. Oh, I do love a fresh pile of bones. And the lettering is something called Cillian Braille. Hmm, rather spiffing. But that's nothing, darling. Prehistoric pearl? With a hint of Victorian lace, printed with a vintage calligraphic type. <laughs> that is really super. How a nitwit like you get so tasteful? Well, I'm millions of years ahead of you pathetic humans. Look at that subtle off-white coloring. A tasteful thickness on it. Ah, ah, oh my god. Ah, ah, it even has a watermark. What do you want? Naturally, 
to pair you with a lovely glass of California Chardonnay. <laughs> Tell you how, darling, it's moi. When you come from a family of tool makers, one thing you inherit is to know that a fine machine is beauty. Fewer moving parts, less wear and tear, easier to service. She's a mechanic's dream. Seeing her here on the ground, you can't know what she's like. Believe me, you don't really know a jet until you fly it. All it takes to keep those jets flying on schedule. She's a mechanic's dream. She's a mechanic's dream. Is it safe? We each got a new cell phone. Talk on it once, you toss it. Totally untraceable. Hello, Hugo Mountbatten here. Mr. Carmine, how you doing? I'm splendid, thank you. But you know how it is inside. How much did that Rico fiasco cost you? A lot. We do this already? Of course, darling. So, that rotter, TGV, insulted you, did he? That's correct. What exactly did he say? He made a very hurtful remark. It's not worth repeating. I heard it was something about Seiko being better than Rolex. It's only been alleged something was said. He allegedly said what he said to a group of people. Friends of ours. How do you know it's true? I'm not at liberty to say. All the respect, but this is bullshit. Somebody in my family's talking out of school and you're not at liberty to say who? I should be making the beef here. I hate to say it, chaps, but Tony is correct. Let's stick to the issue. Well, what on earth do you want done about it? If this were years ago, would I even have had to ask? Steady on, old boy. John, what about one of his lovely watches? Is clipping him gonna unring that bell? Nobody's getting clipped. I want satisfaction. How about he makes an apology uh, on that uh, little YouTube channel of his? That ship has sailed. You're being unreasonable, John. There are millions of dollars at stake. Again with the money? Yeah, again with the money. It's so, John. Johnny, darling. Johnny? Johnny. Johnny, darling, are you there? <laughs>